do you guys like the room today? Yeah. You know, new semester, new month, new name, new room, new everything. It's gonna be a new year, and it's my birthday too. Yeah. Everything you came, I appreciate all of you, and like staying updated with our Instagrams and stuff helps make sure you do get updated and are able to still come to the meetings and everything else. So if you haven't, just this is our Instagram that you can just pull it. I'll give you like a minute to just in case you need to do that. As it's just a TFA chapter and a TFA Academy. Now that we can, now this is gonna be super good because the cafeteria is right there. You can bring your lunch. We potentially might even open this door later on, so it may be even easier. So it's really like you walk through, bring your lunches, and we really want to make sure that all our members are well fed and that they do get to eat because, I mean, it's so important to eat and everything. So it will also be good because we get to start earlier, and that means we get more time to learn about our futures and financial education. And that really, I think it's going to be a lot more easier to come in at like 10.50 because you can just bring your lunch right there. It's not a such a long walk to D-Wing. So that's a really good benefit of being in this new room. And we're just continuing on. I'm always gonna look out for each and every single one of you. That's why I started the academy, why I started the chapter, because I always wanna see you successful. So I'm not telling anyone, uh, one of you, like one side of the story. I'm giving you both sides of the story. Like if you don't wanna go to college, how can we help set you up so that you get the most benefit? If you do wanna go to college, how do we set you up? to benefit the most from that too. So there's two sides. I just ask for you to respect both and just make the decision once you have all the information. Like that's what we've been doing with the guest speakers and everything else. So this time we're covering an important side of it which is the debt that comes with college. The biggest, I'd say the negative of, go of going to college. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this. I just talked about like how it's so important though, you have to understand that you need to know about, if you, either way, the opportunities that are available to you. Like when Ms. Garza talked about those scholarships, that's an opportunity available for you to apply. You get, ultimately, the amount of college debt, the college tuition you pay, tuition is like the expenses and all, matters on how hard you work in finding ways to minimize that debt during high school. So. Watch, watching out for her emails, going on, I believe we have the new program, but also if like you don't wanna go to college, then building a high quality skill that you think will be, that will take you a lot further, like working on personable skills, like being able to talk in a conversation, how to network with other people, how to be willing to work, because when you're not taking like a call, when you're not taking a degree, you're relying 100% on your wits, your smarts, and your work ethic. That's what's gonna, that's what makes college dropouts super successful if they do those two things. And the fact that you stay, you stick with it despite how hard it gets, no matter how, because yes, like at the beginning, you can have lots of motivation. Lots, everyone can easily start with motivation. Like why do you think New Year's resolutions are so big for so many people? And then within the first week, most people, leave those new, new Year's resolutions because they don't have the discipline to stay with it. Motivation will get you started, but discipline is what's gonna take you and make sure you finish through with what you said. Commitment into more of the negatives of that college debt. There's a Forbes statistic, student loan debt in 2022 is now more than $1.7 trillion. <coughs> Think about that number. It's a serious problem that affects everyone. And it likely will affect some of you too. But the thing is, you're, you are all different because you're actually in this meeting, you're giving up your own lunch to learn about this at a younger age. And that's what's gonna help you learn about these types of things. Most kids don't know about how high the student debt is like until they're actually in the student debt, so you're already a step ahead by just learning about it now. But this, but like as I said, I want to explain both views. So this is really bad, but at the same time, it's it's also college student loan debt can give a lot of benefits too. Like for example, my my parents, my dad is a my dad's a doctor. 
right? And my mom's an entrepreneur. Yes, now the businesses make more money than my dad's salary. I won't lie to you, that the businesses have now overgenerated because business, being in a country like America where it's based capitalism, which is like businesses, the, the country's run on businesses. So that's where there's the most potential to make the most money. But the way we started paying for those businesses and all, because we're self-made, was because of that education of the, my dad being a doctor. He took the loans and everything, and he put himself in debt, but he also got a high paying salary in the very end that let him build up his capital so that he could start a business. And that's where the job, the getting a degree, no doubt, does give you, the, give you a higher earning potential if you work a job, you raises, that type of thing, it gives you that stability. But I'm trying to structure this to make sure you get both views. Because if you have, a degree can be good and bad for both people who have no money. It can be good for people who have no money in the sense that they can take on loans and they build up their, they build up their income because they get, a, they get their degree. So they get that job and then they start building up their income and then they're able to invest in a property later on that just like my parents did. Or the debt, but what happens if the, what, you always have to look what happens if you don't get a job with that college degree? Then you're just picking up debt and that's what happens, why this number grows so much. Because not only are you tasked with, like a lot of you might think you wanna go to college but you don't know what to study at college. And that can be a problem because oftentimes something, sometimes something you find really interesting doesn't pay you that well. And I mean, that's, that's sad, but that's the reality if you're looking for a job. Like if you, like there's multiple different fields, like say there's engineering, you can, I mean, this is not ideal, but it could be like a teacher or something like that where you know that there's, there is like a, job, like there's jobs available for those. It, you have to do your own research and find the <laughs> demand job fields if you want to get a college degree. So this is, I just want to show you that only with time does average tuition and fees continue to go up. If you could see on this graph, in 1991, and this is by no means like the, the complete story. This is just an average including like scholarships, everything. Like this is for like an average person. This is like statistics based on all the colleges and many colleges, a huge data set. And this is how it's improved. It's gone up from 1990 to 2021. So like, look at this. So if you look at the private nonprofit for a year, it starts at $18,560 per year for 1990. And it goes all the way to $37,650. So that, is an insane amount of money, right? Especially considering that type of job may give you like 60, 60 70K a year. And that would be a good, and that would be pretty good depending on, that's like the average. So you have to really think, is it worth taking that type of expense? Like working a job, if you're willing to go up, work as hard as anybody else and be that type of employee that the, the employers need, like, always like staying like willing to stay after your shifts because the minute you start acting like the average employee then you're dispensable like why why would they keep you over another person so working getting a degree building yourself up that's and then hopefully starting building up, up enough money to start your own business is one potential way how you can go from zero to like a higher to like a place where my parents went being self-made. I'm trying to give you all the data. You know, this is, I'm showing you this because this is the unfortunate reality. Like we don't really have as much of a choice. Like we either, we, we either like try to make something on our own and there's a really high, low rate of people becoming successful after 18, the, the number is incredibly low. It's no doubt it's, it's possible, but it matters how you set yourself up, how, what you're doing right now to build that high quality skill. But if you're thinking of going to college to like, you know, go to parties to just just cruise by, not care about your grades, you're going to lose and you're going to be stuck where you are for the rest of your life. But if you're going there to make connections, getting getting like opportunities with employers, contacting internships, going like over the summer, going like, oh, I 
I, I'm studying at this university. I know you have like a you have this type of place nearby. I'll work for really. I I, I don't care as as much about the pay. I just want to learn. And you start building a relationship with the company, which we'll do. We'll talk more about next next Tuesday in our meeting about how you would try to do that if you were in college, making use of those connections. Because there is a good amount of resources at these colleges that a lot of kids don't use. And I'm, I want, with Ms. Cole's help, to help you become aware of those. ATFA competition next Tuesday. And I just want to, as I turn 17 today, I just want to leave one message to you all. It's the fact that, you know, as I look around, you all inspire me to be better every single day. You know, I don't care how many hours of sleep I lose over, how many parties I have to say no to, how many times I have to work. I don't care because I know each and every single one of you deserve the best. And I'm committed to making sure that you get all the opportunities you deserve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want you all to know that, look, I unfortunately, I cannot control what's going on in your guys' lives. I can't. No one can. That's part of life. You know, some of you may have to pay your own insurance. Some of you have, may have to pay your own rent. And I, I commend you for that, you know, because you're taking that to a next level. We don't, as human beings, we do not have control over the circumstances that we're brought up on, our parents, our type of thing. But what we do have control over is what we do now. You all come, you have control over coming to these meetings. You have control over going the, on the academy. You have control over researching. You have control over whether or not to pick up that, whether to go on your video games. You have control whether or not you're gonna skip that workout. You have control over those type of variables, like how you study, how you go on the academy. So those things you can control. And what I can control, what I can promise is that you, des that you will get the best by being part of this program. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.